Pacific Islanders say Australia's continuing support of coal as a source of energy is causing resentment in the region. The concerns have been raised as leaders gather in Samoa for the annual Pacific Islands Forum. Pacific Affairs reporter Liam Fox reports from the capital, Apia. Leaders were given a warm Samoan welcome at the opening of this year's Pacific Islands Forum. But behind closed doors, Australia can expect some blunt talk on climate change. Australia is moving and supporting actions that are creating the cause of the possible demise of my people. Small Pacific countries are among the most vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. They see it as a threat to their very survival. So, when they hear news out of Australia about plans for the massive Adani coal mine and of the support by some MPs for the continued use of coal-fired power, it hurts. There is resentment, strong resentment and strong disapproval of uh, these double standards. And it's as if we are children. Other leaders are more diplomatic, but the sentiments are the same. I respect uh, Australia's position and priorities. Uh, but then, you know, we all know that uh, using coal for energy is uh, one of the biggest polluters in the world. In response, the federal government highlights its commitment to reduce carbon emissions under the Paris Agreement. Australia will meet its commitment and will meet those commitments uh, within our own framework. And we're also encouraging and supportive of other countries uh, in our region to help them get their national plans uh, up and running to meet their commitments. Climate change is just one of the issues the Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull will discuss when he arrives here for the leaders' retreat on Friday. Also on the agenda is a new regional security agreement that will allow for collective responses to events like natural disasters. Liam Fox, ABC News, Apia.